If you want to be a champion, and by champion I mean a real, real champion, where every single day of your life is filled with love, happiness, and success, you got to find a way to love everyone. And by everyone, I mean everyone. And the only way you're going to do this is by seeing the people in your life as the champions that they really are inside, instead of in the way that society has made them become. Extremely great morning, extremely great champions. We just start here buying the essentials. And if you don't know who we are, we're living our dream in Thailand, making videos every single day. And all we want to do is have fun together, make you happy, and share our story with you. So smash that subscribe button and let's take it to the next level. Every day, bro. <laughs> you can't really see in the crocodile video how amazing Kenzo's hair looks, but he looks so extremely handsome. I want to share some stories with you right now that actually prove that bad things just don't happen so long as you don't continue to focus on whatever it is that you deem as being bad. And the first thing is like I grew up with no mom and no dad. Uh, the other story I want to share with you is that uh, of me ending up in, in hospital. Uh, in Pangan having a heart attack uh, the other story I want to share with you is um, my best friend and my ex-girlfriend uh, getting together and then the final story that I want to share with you oh don't worry it's, it's gonna be real quick we're just gonna fly through fly through these stories but and, and anyway it's not about how long the story takes it's about the the message behind the stories um, which I hope help you and the final one is that my, my ex-girlfriend here in Thailand uh, had got a new boyfriend. And um, so just if you, if you just like fire those, those um, instances off to anyone, like uh, best friend going with girlfriend, girlfriend going with new guy, uh, having a heart attack and, um, oh wait, there's actually one more, and, and me losing clients, um, oh, and me growing up without any mom and dad. Like it seems bad. Like if you had to focus on the, the topic of the problem, it seems bad, right? So let's start with number one. Like I grew up with no mom and no dad. And yeah, to be honest with you, I did. I carried around a lot of hurt and hatred for a long period of time. But the thing is that it's only because of um, me growing up without a mom and dad that I'm such an amazing dad myself now. And it was only like a year ago where I started thanking like, and meaning it. Thank you so much, mom and dad, for actually being so horrendous because I am now so magical and phenomenal with my own son, okay? So that's number one. It just proves right there and then. There is no bad. Like, I grew up with no mom and dad, but th there is so, so, so much good that came out of it. Number two, like there was one stage, okay, I used to be a personal trainer, right? So there was one stage where, like in just one week, I lost, like I had about 10 clients, and then I lost one, lost two, lost three, lost four, just all of a sudden started losing all these customers, and then I said to myself, okay, if I lose one more, that's definitely a sign from the universe, and uh, I arrived at uh, work the next day, and the one customer, Tammy, she says to me that I'm leaving you, I was like, whoa, that's definitely a sign, and uh, I, and, it's, and that was the main driving factor, well one of them, we'll cover the other one now, behind me actually leaving and coming to live a fucking amazing life here in Thailand. Like I could not even find the words to describe the, the happiness that I have now. The other thing is the best friend going with the, the girlfriend, right? So like I had a best friend, we used to do everything together. And, uh, and then one day I discovered that he and the ex-girlfriend were together. And of course, like at the time I was like, whoa, that's very, very terrible. But as time went by, I, I started thanking him energetically every morning. Uh, 
for doing that because that was like the pushing factor of me really leaving South Africa and coming to live like an actual dream come true life here over here. So more evidence that bad things don't happen just so long as you don't focus. Like if I had continued, let's say for example, I decided to start stalking the girl or stalking the, the best friend and, and continue to focus on, on them and, and, and post negative updates on Facebook, of course, I wouldn't have made a pathway available for myself to find the new, the new uh, life, right? And this is, is the exact reason why the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Because rich people feel rich, therefore they focus on being rich, therefore they get more rich. Whereas poor people p feel poor. Like if you're not going to be able to pay you know, rent at the end of the month, you're feeling that. And because you're feeling that, you're focusing on them. And because you're focusing on, on it, more poverty is coming your way, right? So focus on what you actually do want rather than the... the, the Oh, I feel under pressure here. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. Focus on what you want and not on what you don't want. And the final thing is, like, I had a full-on heart attack about just over four years ago in uh, Pangan. I went to the full moon party. I thought I was buying MDMA. I took it. I ended up being in hospital. And uh, one year later, my heart was still giving me problems. Like, I saved you guys the agony of what actually happened. But I stayed in hospital for about two and a half days. And uh, I couldn't train for a whole year. And I got really, really fat, so fat that I couldn't fit into my shorts. And uh, I had cellulite all over my stomach. And um, I got actual boobs. I remember climbing on the, the scooter one day and I saw actual boobs. But that's not even the half of it. The half of it is this, that I would lie in bed at night and, and receive massive uh, shooting pains in my heart. And then anxiety, like I just have anxiety. And I'd have to phone Liz, uh, my, my, my best, 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 best friend. And uh, I would be like, okay, I'm about to have a heart attack. So, of course, if I continue to focus on the, the, the pain and, uh, you know, all of this, then I wouldn't have, again, allowed a pathway of a great new chapter in my life to, to manifest, right? So, as time went by, I, I, eventually, I stopped focusing on this. And I started focusing on how I actually wanted to feel. And four years later, I have not touched, and you can check my Facebook, you can check any of my friends. I've not touched a drop of alcohol, I've not smoked a single cigarette, and I've not taken any drugs at all. And none of this would have happened if it wasn't for me having a heart attack in Pangan. So again, more proof, bad things don't happen. So as long as you just don't focus on the, the thing that you perceive as being bad, right? I have to end off here, the vlog's getting too long. That's it for today. Smile at strangers, compliment everyone, be a champion, be different, be phenomenal. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Good night.